So this video is going to be another concentration time equation problem where we're going to relate concentration and time together in this equation. And the equation we typically use is the ln A equals ln A naught minus KT. And you may again have seen this equation as A is equal to A naught E to the minus KT. And this again is for first order reactions where we can plot the ln of A versus time and get a negative slope, which is a K value. And this is very similar to the Y is equal to M, where X is T, so MX plus B. This is your slope equation. So Y is going to be your ln of A, your X axis is your time, and the slope that you end up getting here is a negative, hence the negative sign, which is K. It's typically what your M is in the linear equation of Y is equal to MX plus B that you have encountered in math. So whether you see this as um, problem in a math class or a chemistry class, it really follows the same mathematical principles. So in this case, everything is given to us in terms of all of our units. In our other example, we saw that we had to find or calculate K from half-life before plugging it in. But in this case, we're actually given all the values. The a uh, little caveat in this particular problem is the time units, and the time units here are different, and this is a very simple fix, but if you don't catch on to that, it's very simple to make an error and just plug in these values without knowing that your two time values are in different units. So always make sure that your units all cancel out. Let's take a look at this example. It asks, if an element x decomposes at a rate of 6.5 times 10 to the minus 3, inverse minutes, then how much of a 150 gram sample, so our original amount at time zero is 150 grams, how much remains, don't know, after four hours, so our time is four hours. And the problem here is that your K and your time are in different units. So to make it simple, we will just convert our hours into minutes by multiplying four hours by 60 minutes, which is 240 minutes. And now our units are the same, so these will cancel out. So let's start plugging in values. Ln of A is equal to Ln of A naught minus KT. Ln of zero is the original amount, and Ln of A is how much is left over. And that's what we're wondering, is how much of this 150 grams um, of the sample remains after it's allowed to decay for four hours. So ln of A is, of course, what we're solving for. ln of A naught, A naught is 150 grams, so let's plug that in, don't forget to put your ln, minus K, which is 6.5 times 10 to the negative 3, it's inverse minutes, times time, which is 240 minutes. Minutes and minutes cancel. That's what we wanted. So ln of A, I am not sure, solving for that. ln of 150 grams is actually 5.01 grams minus 6.5 times 10 to the negative 3 times 240 is 1.56. All right, so now what am I left to do? I need to simply solve this as a mathematical problem. Ln of A is equal to 5.01 grams minus 1.56. That leaves me with positive 3.45. So I need to take the inverse log of Ln, which is the E to the X button. So that cancels that out, leaving me with A. But I also have to do it on the other side as well. So E to the power of 3.45 and that will give me a value of, when I plug e to the 3.45 into the calculator, 31.5 grams. So, after four hours or 240 minutes, as this um, element decomposes at a rate of 6.5 times 10 to the negative three inverse minutes, and these 240 minutes elapse, this 150 grams is going to slowly decay until we are left with only 31.5 grams.